stage is Joey Mejia. Yo, uh, how you doing? Cool, silence, love it. Uh, my name is Joey Mejia. Good to see y'all here. I'm just going to say a few things. Um, I'm just going to breathe. I've been working on my breathing technique with the mic. A lot of people in Seattle have RBF, right? Resting bitch face. You probably heard RBF. I have something similar. It's RSF, resting suicide face. Like nobody wants to talk to me walking down the street, so I fit in perfectly in Seattle. Eeyore is my spirit animal. Oh, uh, bother. I dropped my phone recently in a parking garage. I'm one of those reckless people that don't have a screen protector, don't have a case. I'm a wild man on my phone here. Um, so I dropped it in a parking garage. It's now fractured but functional, so I identify with my phone. I feel fractured and functional as well. But I like how at first the phone was like, hey human, give me that serial number. Put in that number. What's your number, human? Prove yourself. And then it got a little better. It was like, hey human, where's that finger? Show me what that finger do. Put that in the right spot, human. A little sweaty, try again. And then with facial recognition, which kind of creeps me out, but with facial recognition, it's like, look at me. Look at me better, Joey. Look at me more directly. I don't even recognize you anymore. And I don't need that for my cell phone technology. I get that from my girlfriend. <laughs> That's an old joke. I don't have a girlfriend. Oh. Moving on, as am I. I just say that so you know you can fuck me. I'm just kidding. That's all right. Don't fuck me. I became an accidental stepdad recently, which I think is way less creepy than being an on-purpose stepdad. Because, like, the apps let you filter, like, only somebody who is parented, and I think that's a little weird, but... Anyway, uh, back when I was an accidental stepdad, one of the kids was playing this game Apex. Any video game fans here? Dead silent. All right, thank you. Dear fucking God, thank you. Somebody, okay, you like video games too, right? Somebody raise their hand. All right, thanks. This game, Apex, whatever, apparently it's like a video game that kids play. I, I'm not into it, but he said something kind of funny. He's like, whoa, he was playing with his friend, and he was like, whoa, they jumped so far. That's scary. And my brain immediately went, that's probably what the 1950s NBA sounded like, right? That's, that's a weird one. Yeah. Are we uncomfortable now? First black player in the NBA was 1950. Shout out Boyd. Ah, I forget his name. All right, I'll do better research. Speaking of broken relationships, like, uh, anyone with a breakup recently? Woo! Want to out themselves? Awesome. It's kind of, sometimes you see signs, right? You kind of know when the breakup's coming, like the hugs are a little looser. The sex is a little stagnant. But I really knew it was over when I got dropped from the Spotify family plan. That was like, I saw that email, and I was like, all right, there's no coming back from this one. Pity me. This is just, yeah, I just want Oz. No more laughter, just Oz. I think it is a weird world overall. Like, I read an article, water, not the most hydrating beverage for the human body. Apparently it's milk, but the article doesn't believe it itself. I tap into bullshitfoodblog.io to read the first paragraph, because I don't read the full article. And it says, in some instances, their milk, skim milk or whole milk is more hydrating than water. So it's just chat GPT trying to trick you at this point. Stop scrolling the news feed. But I think it's weird that the rock is mostly made of water. Dwayne Johnson, the rock <laughs> is mostly composed of water. That's like a sentient glass of water going by the nickname Pebbles. <laughs> and I did extra research, so it's not just a dumb joke. It's 55% if you're a female or a small male, 
You're made of 55% water. 60% if you're a male. I know it mostly looks like fat talking to you up here, but I'm 60% water communicating right now. And this is from the US.gov. If you're non-binary, you do not retain water, according to the US.gov. They think some people don't retain water. So fix that, US.gov. All right, I saw a flashy light. Love you, thank you, bye. Go to the Ballers show in 10 days, 10 days. Look at Joey Mejia, advertising better than I have this entire time. <laughs> Keep the odds going for him, everybody. Aww. For Joey. Hey, is this mic? Okay, cool. Hi. Yo, that's your mic. Love you. Hi. I like your danglers. Thank you. It's actually a hazard. It can definitely hit me in the eye. If anyone has super glue, just please let me borrow it. Um, thank you for mentioning the Alamo. I'm too stupid. I don't know what the Alamo is, but I'll go research further. So it's in somewhere in Texas, I believe. It doesn't matter. Forget about the Alamo. I think that's how the phrase goes. Buzz cuts also. I can't afford it yet, but I'm, I'm waiting to get a buzz cut. But I have a hat. I'm we could shave you. I'm one of those rare dudes that wears a hat and is not bald. <laughs> <laughs> you can shave me? I, is that a real offer? Dan will. I'll let you shave me. <laughs> he hasn't come up on stage yet. You guys will meet Dan later. He Dan, you has to shave off and this man really grows his, his face is No, he doesn't want to shave me. <laughs> Gentrifying fruit. I don't really... What does it mean to gentrify? Can somebody explain, like, to make white? Or... <laughs> I'm not... and here I thought fruit already was. I don't know, gentrifying fruit. I, yeah, I don't next, know. Next slide. Yeah, is anybody wrote some of these? I don't know. Can I just, like, can I pout and just go? Yeah, you can do that. You're... Okay. Yeah, it's your Favorite time. dead people. Favorite dead people. <sighs> I don't like dead people. Damn. What about JFK? Man, fuck, fuck that guy. <laughs> he deserved it. No. I, don't, I never knew him. I don't know. He didn't cheat on his people. wife, you know? My grandfather. That's my favorite dead person, right? Oh. Okay, I, I don't know anything funny about that. Mine is, um, he's not dead yet, but LeBron James eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Kobe. Oh. oh. You know what? Probably my favorite dead person. Yeah. Like this known by everybody. That's, That's a top tier dead person. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm watching the shorts and crying and yeah, it's sad. Yeah. I'm a Shaq fan, but you know, he was my father figure. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's real. Daddy left when I was nine. Daddy wasn't there. So who are you? Austin awesome. Powers? Yeah. Shaquille <laughs> O'Neal was there. Oh, All right, yeah. next slide. Fuck that people. The power of sunscreen. <laughs> Did you know not only white people need sunscreen? Yeah. I just learned this. I dated uh, a black woman for the first time, and uh, she had sunscreen. She was all about the skincare. So I had a skincare routine. You don't anymore? No, I'm a single man. Oh. <laughs> Very sad boy. Uh, power of sunscreen. I guess it's necessary. Uh, yeah. just, just stay inside. Usually SPF 30 is the power of sunscreen. Wear hats. Does the number matter? Is it? Is it not, it's all marketing. Not know. beyond fifty, but yeah. be kind of. Yeah. Anyways, next slide. Fuck sunscreen. Why does it have to be white? Can't they make black colored sunscreen? <laughs> it, oh, that would be weird. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they can do that. That would be problematic. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Dot Cheese isn't just for birthdays anymore. Discover what's coming soon to a fun center near you, Bitly Keck Weddings. <laughs> That's coupled extravagant creatures. Coupled extrav extravagant creature weddings. This is an April Fool's joke, obviously, it's April 1st. Uh, you notice? Look at that. Keen eyes up here. <laughs> uh, he looks a little too happy, though, to be married. I think he's like Polly with them. Yeah. I don't know why the people getting married are so sad and Chuck yeah, is so happy. They're staring like very seriously. Is that Chris Pratt? That looks like Chris Pratt. Yeah, they're not happy. Chucky's happy. Chucky is a guardian. He's not married. Galaxy, yeah. 
Oh. Polly forever, Chucky. Hell yeah. <laughs> Chucky's in a situation ship. Yeah. Chucky's a solo Polly. Yeah, he's getting it. <laughs> Chucky gets it. Chucky can get it. All right. Hell yeah. All right, let's give it up for Joey. Thank you. Alright, your next person coming to the stage. Let's give it up for Dan Berlin. Thank you, Josh, everybody. Yes, please tip him. He's had to be here all night with us and he's been lovely. Alright, on deck we have Cruz for coming to the stage. Now give it up for Mejia Comedy. Yo. Shout out to Comedy Slash Bar, the unhashtagable bar. Impossible to hashtag that. Shout out to Cruz. Shout out to all the people. Hi, I'm Joey. You can't you can't find me at home. You can't no homes. Okay. Um I dropped my phone recently in a parking garage. I'm one of those reckless people that doesn't have a case, doesn't have a screen protector, and it finally cracked after years of having a clean phone. So I identify with my phone like fractured but functional. That's how I feel right now in life. But I like how at first the phone technology used to be like, hey human, what's your serial number? Plug in that number, show me your reel. And then it got a little bit better, it was like, hey human, where's that finger? Show me what that finger do. Put that finger in the right spot, human. A little sweaty, try again. I'm often sweaty. <laughs> And then, with fa I'm creeped out by facial recognition, but I cave and I do it now. But with facial recognition, your phone's like, look at me! Joey, look at me better! Look at me like you mean it! Look at me directly! I don't even recognize you anymore, Joey. You've changed. You wear glasses, hats. I can't even tell. You're not the same person. And I don't need that for my cell phone technology. I get that from my girlfriend. That's an old joke. I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Nobody with this hat has a girlfriend. <laughs> I was, uh, I've was. i never dated someone with that beautiful blue hair, green hair, red hair that you see around Seattle, the colorful hair. But if you do date someone with that hair and then it's like a traumatic breakup, whether it's emotional abuse, domestic abuse, whatever flavor you got going on, and you never see her again, does that mean you have a hair trigger for the rest of your life? I said yes, okay? That's, that's my only gun joke, okay? Stupid, stupid joke. What else? All right, I've been, I, I've been meaning to do this actually for a while. I'm just gonna channel another comedian for one second. All right, so I've been working out more, you guys. I've been, I've been uh, in the gym a little bit. I've been working out. And uh, I know it doesn't look like it, but I really have been in the gym working out. Uh, I've, been, I've actually invented a new workout. Uh, it's it's uh, called ketamine bells. You just do a little line of ketamine, you get a five pound kettlebell so you don't fuck your back up. And yeah, ketamine bells. So shout out ketamine bells, hell yeah. All right. <laughs> that was obscure, maybe nobody, a couple people might recognize that dude. Um, what else? I'm in athletic material, sorta. I could do basketball stuff. I grew up in Maine. Uh, I'm just gonna jump around. Grew up in Maine. Uh, the letter R does not exist in Maine. So you drive a car. You eat lobster. So my name is Joey Mejia, it's not Josh Mejia. I was gonna say it was just to disprove the bartender. But my name's Joey Mejia, so the kids had an easy rhyme going up, growing up, Joey Aquia. So that's just a little memory technique. Hopefully you remember me now. Um, blah. What do you want to talk about, Molly? You have a great name, it's not basic. <laughs> Tyreek would be a cooler name. I, I've never heard of a Tyreek. That's a unique. All right, Martin Luther King. Let's just change the topic. Great man, love Martin Luther King. No major gripes with MLK, but I do believe he set the bar a little too high for dreams. <laughs> Thank you. Singular laughter. That's what I go for with my comedy. Divide the room. No, but like, I, I had a dream, this is a real childhood dream. I had a dream that I was a chameleon, and it was awesome. I was changing colors like Snake and Metal Gear Solid. And then it became a stressful nightmare when an alligator, like a stand-up alligator, started chasing me. There's a lot of reptiles in this one. 
But I can't tell my friends if I had a friend. I couldn't tell my friend I had a dream without them expecting civil conversation. So that's all. Just you know, he did other great things I've heard. So. Also, did you know? Why are you hiding your face? He did. You disagree that Martin? <laughs> How dare you? I've also heard good things about him. Yeah, good guy. <laughs> good guy. Did you know, though, this is breaking MLK news. 2023, brand new breaking news. MLK was one letter away from being a beverage. Milk. <laughs> I don't know how the dairy lobby missed that. They had a clear sponsor. All right, speaking of hydration, I read an article recently uh, that said water is not the most hydrating beverage for the human body. Apparently it's milk. But if you tap in, read the first paragraph, because you don't read the whole article. It says, in some instances, skim and whole milk may be more hydrating for the human body. So that's just chat GPT trying to trick you at this point. I don't believe it. Dairy Lobby's strong still. This is my milk set. <laughs> but speaking of hydration, I think it's a strange world. I think it's weird that The Rock Dwayne Johnson is mostly composed of water. And it's 55% if you're a lady, 60% if you're a dude. And if you're non-binary, the US.gov thinks you don't retain water. So fix that, US.gov. Okay, I fucking burned the light. I apologize. Love you, bye. Thank you, thank you for that, Joey. Yep. Joey was rocking a hat. He kind of looks like, like someone that would rock a hat like that, would be able to play the flute and have a snake come out, you know? Oh, like, shit! Kind of like a snake charmer, basically. <laughs> He's got that snake charmer hat. <laughs>